Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us on this week's edition of G News Plus. I'm Luke Wood and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The 9th National High School Students Leaders Forum was held on March 16th in the English village in Paju city of Gyeonggi Province. Gyeonggi Hello. Province Governor Kim Won Soo was this year's special lecturer invited to this event organised by Korea's Student Council. During the lecture, Governor Kim spoke to youth leadership and shared his thoughts about the attributes and qualities required to be a youth leader. After the lecture, Governor Kim had informal talks with aspiring future leaders and discussed current issues freely with them. The organiser of this annual high school leaders forum, which consists of panel discussions in a number of categories, has been inviting a society leader each year for a special lecture and communication with youths. An unusual form of sex education is being offered by the northern Gyeonggi province. It is provided on board a bus that circulates primary schools equipped with audio and visual education aids. Young students step on board a bus, oblivious to what they are about to experience. On the bus, they try to get a gadget that simulates the feeling of pregnancy, such as fetal movements in the tummy, and experience the magic of life firsthand which they could not otherwise learn at school. This mobile sex education bus, named Tall Tree Bus, with its friendly interior that mimics a forest of giant trees, was introduced last December by a youth sex cultural centre and has since been circulating around the northern part of the province, visiting primary schools. The key to the success of the mobile sex education is the use of a variety of educational aids that enable children to learn about the birth of life, presented at their eye level. 사랑에 대한 부분, 배려에 대한 부분, 그리고 생명에 대한 부분을 느끼고 가기를 바라고요. 앞으로 어, 농촌, 사촌, 언촌 지역의 아동 청소년들을 위해서 열심히 달리도록. The visit by a tall tree bus may also be applied via a website of the Northern Gyeonggi Province Youth Sex Cultural Centre. One of the dried labour producers of Gyeonggi Province secured a Chinese business partner and is about to introduce its G-marked products to 200 retail food outlets in China. Workers at this factory are busy sorting and packaging the dried labour products. Exports of this company's goods have increased recently since it acquired a prestigious G-Mark, a symbol of excellence certified by the Gyeonggi Province Governor for high quality food products. This company recently closed a sales deal for 1.5 million US dollars with a Chinese importer. 기름기를 줄이고 바삭한 식감을 살린 이 김이 중국인의 입맛을 사로잡았습니다. This is proof that the G mark of Gyeonggi Province is already recognized widely among Chinese consumers. The Gyeonggi Provincial Administration has been promoting the quality of its agricultural products in international markets through various endeavors including exhibitions and trade fairs. 홍보 판매관을 그 계속 중국 쪽에 늘려 나가서 중국인들의 기호와 식성에 맞는 the Gyeonggi Provincial Administration also plans to expand the product categories of GMARC certification. The Gyeonggi Health and Environmental Research Centre developed the air pollution signal light that provides information about the safety of local atmospheric conditions with colour-coded lights just like traffic lights. The air pollution signal light, like this one at the entrance of Gwangyo Mountain in Suwon, displays the level of air pollution in six different colours depending on the severity of pollution. Developed for the first time in Korea, these signal lights enable travellers and residents to plan their outdoor activities wisely to avoid unnecessary exposure to air pollution. These lights provide air pollution signals in real time and are based on the information received from 70 measurement points throughout the province. 
Blue and green light indicates that it is safe for outdoor activities, while yellow light warns physically weak individuals, such as seniors and children who have heart and lung disease, to refrain from staying outdoors. When the red or brown light is on, even healthy adults must stay indoors. This colour-based warning system was conceived primarily to replace the previous numeric indication of pollution measurement values, which can hardly be understood except by specialists. The Gyeonggi Provincial Administration plans to expand installation of the air pollution signal lights throughout the province. The real estate sector of the Korean economy has been on a standstill from the past several years. It is making significant adverse effects on housing markets as well as on provincial administration. The number of real estate transactions in Gyeonggi Province dropped dramatically from over 21,000 cases in December last year to only 5,000 in January this year. With 40% of its revenue coming from real estate transaction related taxes, the Gyeonggi Provincial Government is expecting a major financial problem that jeopardises the normal functioning of the administration. The Gyeonggi Provincial Government invited the members of the National Assembly representing the province to a provincial housing policy meeting and discussed housing market issues. The provincial government proposed revision of legislation for the extension of the real estate procurement tax exemption period and the abolition of heavy real estate transfer tax on multiple housing owners and requested the National Assembly for their support. The provincial government also suggested that the scale of housing projects be reduced and the allotted land be utilised for other cultural, education or scientific purposes. Governor Kim emphasised the need for active support by the National Assembly in clearing statutory obstacles to realise their proposals. <laughs> The Gyeonggi administration anticipates that as many of its proposals will be adopted as possible. The complex countermeasures of the central government against real estate issues may be the first economic package to be devised by the new Korean administration. A super first class hotel, MVL, was completed and opened in Hallyu World, a cultural complex in Goyang, exclusively for the Korean wave culture. While the number of foreign tourists continuously increased in Gyeonggi province, the accommodation facilities available to them are far from being sufficient. With 377 guest rooms, including 34 suites, this large hotel in Gyeonggi province will be able to accommodate a large portion of Hallyu World visitors including an estimated 50,000 foreign visitors annually. Consisting of 20 floors above ground and four floors underground, it also features world-class conference rooms, banquet rooms, a business centre and a fitness club. This hotel also contributes to the local economy by creating 340 new jobs. Ambul Hotel's Gejang and Debra, many Hallyu Infra are together. We have made Hallyu and Gyeonggi region this hotel is only part of the accommodation projects of Hallyu World, which includes a number of hotels with a total of 3,000 guest rooms within the complex. Recent successive outbreaks of large fires, both in urban areas and forests, have alerted the fire department of Gyeonggi Province. A G News Plus reporter visited the Gyeonggi Fire Service Academy to witness firefighters in action on training at simulated disaster events. This is a simulated copper fluoride leakage site. The primary mission is to save the lives of people trapped inside. Each firefighter, rigged with nearly 30 kilograms of equipment and protective gear, is assigned with a different mission and is ready to take action. This is mock training, but all the equipment available has been brought out for deployment. Another group of trainees are focusing intensely on firefighting training. They undergo a training sequence of a variety of special skills as well as the basics. 
At the end of the day, they will emerge as more experienced firefighters who are better capable of safeguarding the lives of citizens. 경기도 내에 있는 5,960명에 달하는 그 소방관들한테 최소한의 기본 교육서부터 시작을 해서 어, 현장에 강한 소방관들을 만들기 위한 전문 교육까지 전부 교육을 시키는 그런 교육 기관이고. A total of more than 20,000 individuals pass through the fire academy annually on average. 실제 같은 훈련과 소방관들의 투혼이 우리나라 소방관들을 최강의 소방관으로 키우고 있습니다. 디뉴스 플러스 최지현입니다. Thank you for joining us on this week's edition of G News Plus. We look forward to seeing you next week.